Uh, let's have a question here from ATM about the great Muda. What are your memories of working with Muda specifically your power hour match from January of 1990? Uh, clearly are. And that made quite the impression on ATM. The great Muda is one of those interesting figures in wrestling where we didn't see a ton of him in WCW. So there was always this mystique around him. And I guess there still is today. We got a huge reaction when we announced him for Starcast, and we wanted something different, something unique. And Muda was definitely that. In 89 and 90. What are your memories of working with him? Well, when I came back um, from WWF at the time, Muda had been the television champion for a bit. And with Gary Hart, in those days, if you were a champion on, you know, uh, WCW television, or I would imagine Vince's television, um, you were big, made you a bigger star in Japan. So he was compiling credits and he was compiling good TV time, which was just going to benefit him when he went back to Japan. And the television title, he got to go out, as I explained earlier, and have enough time on every show and do all the stuff that he could do. And he was very, very good, smooth as he could possibly be. Um, and Gar Gary Hart was one of those situations that fit perfectly as his manager. And uh, they had they were a good unit. And uh, I was fortunate enough that they put me over for that TV title, and I beat a guy that was red hot at the time. And uh, it helped me coming back. It gave me some, some uh, credibility. And right off the get-go, it was put a little rocket on my ass. The real coyote writes in who had the worst reputation of potatoing other wrestlers or hard weighing them to the point that competition never wanted to work with them. I don't think Vader was a favorite with the, uh, enhancement talent that was there or the regular crew of guys. Um, I would imagine the road warriors when they first started would have their detractors. Uh, they were big, strong, solid folks and, uh, green when they first started, um, those come to mind. I think, uh, Haku and he and I are best friends to this day. We don't speak all the time, but I think the world of the guy, all he had to do was chop you one time. It was like a cement block hitting you in the chest. And he loved me. So I can't figure it out. What he did to guys he didn't like, I don't even want to think about. But he would lace you with that chop. Um, that's the three that probably come to mind right away.